The Hyatt Regency Hotel in Kansas City, Missouri was constructed in the late 1970s over the course of two and a half years using a fast track design approach. One of the most definitive features of the Hyatt was a set of three walkways that were to be suspended above the main lobby as shown. The first floor would be connected to the third floor and the second floor would be suspended on its own. At that time, it was fairly common for a structural engineer to leave the connection details in the hands of the fabricator. A rough design that consisted of the third floor and first floor walkways being suspended by a single connecting rod was drafted and sent to the fabricator. The fabricator then notified the engineer that the connection that was specified would be impractical to construct. This is a great example of how something can look good on paper but be impossible in real life. The fabricator suggested that the single connection connecting rod be split into two pieces for ease of construction and, that the en and then the engineer signed off on the new design. The rods were to be held in place by two channels that would be welded together to form a box beam. On July 17, 1981, roughly a year after the completion of the hotel, a popular dance competition took place in the lobby below. Suddenly, two of the suspended walkways at the Hyatt Regency Hotel collapsed. One hundred and fourteen people died and one hundred and eighty six were seriously injured in the incident. After a thorough investigation by the NTSB, or National Transportation Safety Board, it was determined that the connection at the box beams in the walkway had failed. Something didn't quite add up though. The walkways were supposed to be able to withstand the loading from people crowding the walkways to capacity, but at the time of the collapse there were only about 60 people on both. After sample specimens were tested in the lab, it was determined that the box beam connections had about one-third of the capacity that the Kansas City Building Code required. Testing is shown here as a sample specimen buckles under less weight than it was subjected to after, during the collapse. Furthermore, the change from a single connecting rod suspending both walkways to the two connecting rod system shown here actually doubled the loading on the third floor connection. Combine all those factors and you've got a bad situation just waiting to happen. So who was responsible for this serious oversight? The engineering firm maintained that it was a standard practice for the fabricators to design connections, but the, but the fabricators blamed the engineering firm who signed off on the plans for not checking their calculations. In the end, after a few years of court proceedings, the court sided with the fabricators and placed full responsibility with the engineering firm and the engineer who was responsible had his license revoked in the state of Missouri. Shortly thereafter, the codes were changed. From that point forward, it would be the engineer's sole responsibility to ensure the structural integrity of everything that they designed. The Hyatt Regency Hotel has been rebuilt since the disaster and now incorporates a similar walkway across the lobby. This time, however, the walkway is suspended by a set of very large, very sturdy columns. Credit goes to National Geographic for the footage that was used in the making of this video.